Hey everyone, today we're gonna do the unthinkable and try and tissue culture Monstera Albo. So as some of us know, you are not typically supposed to tissue culture a plant that has chimeric variegation. You're only supposed to tissue culture plants that have genetic variegation like the Thai constellation. But this version of the Albo is heavily marbled and has a pattern very similar and close to this Thai constellation. And because of all the damping off and root rot trouble that the Thai constellation is experiencing, I figured I would try and at least show you guys the results and the process of attempting to tissue culture this plant. I've prepared a multiplication media here and it has now solidified, as you can see from it not moving. There's gonna be a few steps in this process. I'll try and explain as much as I can with the laminar flow hood off. The fans and everything make it pretty loud so I won't be able to talk and I also need to wear a mask. But before that, we'll do the preparation of the tissue culture from the mother plant and I'll show you that process. Being sterile in tissue culture is super important, so I'm adding some hand sanitizer onto my hands now. I've already washed up with Dawn dish soap, and I have a razor blade here with some 70% isopropyl alcohol that I'm cleaning the blade with. Taking an explant for tissue culture, that's what this small plant will be called, it's much like typical stem culture. So when we're taking cuttings for propagation and putting in aeroid mix, you're gonna wanna take the part of the stem that has the stem cells. So it's the part that's attached to the stem. And as you can see on this plant, what I was talking about is the variegation is really good in the stem and it's not blocky, it's very striped. And this is actually the leaf that I'm after. I want more of this blended coloring instead of the block coloring of this one. But you can see in Thai Constellation, it also has more of the blocking, but the total part of the green has that genetic variegation through all the parts Whereas chimeric or the albo will have parts of the leaf that have variegation, but then parts that do not. So essentially parts of the plant are variegated, but then other parts of the plant are not. So it's sharing like a dual persona within the same plant. And that's not great for tissue culture, but we're going to do it anyways and see what happens. But this is the one I'm really after. You can see all that striping along that stem. And then what comes out has a lot of really good variegation and then some striping along the backside. And as you guys will see, it's quite devastating if the piece of plant you pick doesn't work in tissue culture or if it gets contaminated or if it dies off because then I've lost a cutting of Monstera Albo. So it can be quite an expensive process to do this. So I'm gonna leave one on the mother plant just in case I mess this up and the other one we're gonna test with. So I think this is the best angle but I've got my razor blade and I'm gonna go all the way back to the stem and make sure I get a bunch of the stem with it. So as I said, just looks like a little cutting. So cute, no? Beautiful, beautiful variegation on the back side. We've got good striping along the stem. The first thing I like to do outside of the laminar flow hood is kind of remove some of the brown parts of the stem. I've got the razor blade here, just kind of cleaning off like the skin, the epidermis of the leaf, kind of expose a new layer. And once I have that new layer of skin exposed, I'm going to spray it down with the H202. Again, being sterile is super, super important through this whole process. So we have a clean looking stem here. You see a little bit of the red color that's from the hydrogen peroxide. And we're gonna actually end up removing all of the leaves, but I'm gonna do that inside the laminar flow hood. And I won't be able to talk for that, but I'll voice over that part of the video. Actually, while I'm here, I'll just peel back this leaf sleeve. That's all it is. Because what we actually have and want is underneath here. Actually, that's not a great sign because what's underneath here, the leaf that's underneath is all white because that is the apical meristem right there. And we can actually cut off all the leaf up until that point because all of this part technically doesn't have stem cells any longer, just this tiny little dot. But the beauty of tissue culture is down here at the node, there's multiple nodes down here. So all of this down here has the ability to put out a bunch of different shoots. And that's what we're gonna bank on that we get something to come out of the stem here or up here at the top that has a bunch of beautiful mixed color. Again, this is a test. I understand that this isn't typical and not the right way to do it, but I figured it'd be a fun way to teach you guys about the process of tissue culture. So I'm actually just gonna remove this top leaf while I'm out here. I'll make another cut while I'm inside. So now I just have the stem of the plant and that's really all we want. I'm gonna dunk it in distilled water just for a second to rinse off the hydrogen peroxide that I have on it. And next up, what we're gonna do in the laminar flow hood is I'm going to create a 10% bleach solution with distilled water. So this is 200 mLs of distilled water here. And then I have 20 mLs of bleach here. This is just typical household bleach from Home Depot. 
and this is roughly a 10% bleach solution now. Now we're gonna move into the sterile laminar flow hood and I'll mount the camera. So now we're inside the hood. I'm gonna start up an alcohol torch here. It's really important to sterilize these tools and this Petri dish. This is a magnetic stir bar that will go around in our beaker of the 10% bleach solution. So here we have our explant onto the Petri dish and I'm spraying a little bit of alcohol onto it and I'm showing you here where to cut it. So where my finger's pointing out is where I wanna cut above that leaf off. The apical meristem is just below that and that's what we wanna keep intact on the plant. So I'm gonna scrape off the bottom a little bit more to get a fresh surface as well as a little bit more of that browning. Then I'm gonna actually remove the leaf sleeve here. It's really important to pull off any leaf sleeves because that crevice could harbor bacteria or fungi and create contamination. Here is our X plant. I'm removing the bottom again for another fresh surface, a little more scraping. Now I'm gonna go into the 10% bleach solution. I did that for five minutes and I'm washing with distilled water between the alcohol as well as the bleach, making sure to never cross contaminate those two. Now I'm pulling off a little bit of the tissue because I over bleached this. I let it go about seven or eight minutes. And it was a little too long. So here we go into the agar, into the sealed and clean jar and we're gonna make sure it's nice and tight, spraying some alcohol around the edge, and here's some saran wrap, just making sure that it is totally sealed and tight. And now we'll take you guys over to the tissue area to show you what type of light it's under. Here's Spiritus Sancti, which is beautiful and multiplying. And this should be a mint, yeah. So that's actually a Tycon, but it looks like it's going mint. I have a theory that mint does come from Tycon. We'll talk about that more later. And this is Paraiso Verde. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye.